This movie tells a story about a contract killer and her CIA mentor who are hunted by an old adversary with a legion of goons. First of all, this movie is dull. It feels basic and paint-by-numbers film, delivering generic drama and mediocre threats. The script is hackneyed and sometimes ridiculous. After a couple of opening shootouts, this movie flops into lots and lots of cliche-riddled conversation. It really enjoys exposition dumps. This movie doesn't make the plot particularly exciting, even as the action escalates. It pretends to pursue a deeper dramatic dive into characterization and motivation while there's no effort to build the screen tension. The central plot is not something that commands attention, dealing with forgettable characters and muddy motivations, with the script offering double crosses that bring little to the endeavor. The script never actually clears up the whole treason done by the father either. The talk of CIA and delivering an asset to the Russians that fuels the tensions between the main characters is empty, and the flashbacks are not very illuminating and also looks awful. So it just sits there, uninvestigated and unresolved. To make it worse, Jamie King is pretty unconvincing for the lead role in this implausible and dull action movie, with little physical presence to suggest she can take down waves of armed goons. The movie tries to sell the character's superpowers without much help from the actress, who visibly struggles while holding guns. Antonio Banderas seems miscast in this movie. The Oscar-nominated actor is just not given much to do, which is disappointing. Normally, at least you can expect some good action in an action movie. Unfortunately, that's not the case here. The action is not exciting as the movie stage dull shootouts with poor visual effects. Chases are limited and showdowns are tedious, failing to inject the much-needed energy to the picture. The blood-splattering gunplay offers generic thrills, while some action scenes are badly edited and should have more tension. Overall, this movie should carry a sense of urgency as it deals with dangerous players and life-and-death situations. It mostly remains inert, trying to get by on the bare minimum of suspense and star power. This movie is such a waste of time. We do not recommend this movie at all.